Hello, it actually is Emma Mills here on episode 84 of my TV and welcome to this spooktacular episode. So happy Halloween, which is obviously why I'm dressed as Where's, Wa Where's Wally. Um, I've actually been waiting, you know, 364 days to wear this outfit. I ordered it and it arrived on the 1st of November last year. So it's been a long time waiting, but I think it goes down quite well. I actually might keep the glasses, potentially. Um, so we're actually having a Halloween fun day today. We're having team lunch and some games and stuff and the team can go all in or all out on um, Halloween fancy dress. You can, if you want to see our social media, you'll see some of the outfits that the girls are answering your calls in today. Um, so actually with Where's Wally, I'm going to keep it old school today with today's tip and focus for productivity and making sure you maximise your time. Um, and it all boils down to a little, little story that a customer told me um, a couple of days ago. So they are a security company and we've been ha answering their calls for about six months. Now, prior to us answering their calls, they were using their voicemail, mobile, um, they, were jump they, they were like good at jumping on it, but it sometimes went to voicemail. You wouldn't know what that person had called about. Often they didn't leave a voicemail. Um, you wouldn't know what call had even rang, so they couldn't ring them back. Um, because it came through like an actual VoIP number, so it wasn't saying the original number. Um, and basically they were doing it themselves, so they were actually doing everything in the business themselves, from deploying guards to answering calls, doing the invoicing. So I obviously had a chat with them, and I think one of the first quick wins for any business, whether you are a solopreneur or we have businesses that are 60 staff strong and outsourcing their calls, but so important at that solopreneur, one-man band level, to get some help with the first line comms. So what they realized was, so they were kind of, you know, it will happen all the time. They'll be driving to a meeting and the phone goes with a new inquiry and they'll take it. They're on the car phone. You know that you're not quite in the zone with it. It's a completely different kind of conversation. Somebody who is solely focused and the distraction, if you're in the middle of doing a task is difficult. It takes around 20, 25 minutes to retain focus, like to get your focus back on something. That's a real start. It takes about 20 minutes. So they were like, okay, well, we'll try the call entry. Now, in the very beginning, he was actually super unsure as to whether they needed it because he's like, we don't get loads of calls. That's the, that's the old adage that we, that we don't get loads of calls. The thing to think about is what is, what is each call worth? What is a potential new customer worth? And what is creating the right experience worth? So they tried it, and um, as I say, we've been answering the calls from about the summertime. And he emailed me the other day to say, do you know, he said, I've had some amazing feedback. Um, now, granted, this customer probably gets about 15, 20 calls a month, but each one, they're, they're really super keen now that each one is handled perfectly, the right information is taken, where we can, we'll transfer it through. And he said that um, they'd won a new piece of business off the back of a call that we'd answered for them. And Thankfully, the lady that rang was really specific with some of her feedback and she's like, do you know what, um, she, she actually gave the, the contract to them and she said, the girl that you've got working for you, she, she was really great on the phone and she said, actually, you were one of the less rushed companies that I spoke to, that you actually had the time to take the right information, she didn't seem like she was just trying to get me off the phone, she took the info. Um, and they actually subsequently subsequently won the contract from the back of the call because she said, I've rang loads of other security companies, some haven't answered, um, some gone to voicemail, some didn't get back to me actually with a quote. She went, but the whole process I went through of the call and then the follow up, she went, I'm, you know, I've got no qualms that you are a big company, you can provide the right service. So she was quite specific in her feedback. Now this one single phone call, only from out of like 20 calls this a month, equates to them, he told me, of about £1,400 a week. Now, I, my tip here for today, it's not about our call answering service because you can easily get your calls sorted in lots of different ways. My, my thing here today is to think about what are you kind of just, what can you easily sort, what, what would affect customer experience and your inquiry to be handled beautifully, and it's easily sorted, but you're kind of like thinking, oh, I'll just do it myself. Now, this is the, the entrepreneur a mindset most of the time, I'll just do it myself. I know how to do it, I can do it best. I've been used to doing it. These are kind of all the things, it's cheaper for me to do it. It absolutely is none of those things. Number one, it is not cheaper for you to do it because if you're then distracted with taking a call, it takes you away from something else. You can never quite focus on one thing really well. Calls might get missed. It's about having the right mindset of actually, you started your business for a particular reason and whether that's to deliver the service because you love it or to grow something where you can enjoy your life more and lead a life that other people don't get to lead, 
you need to think about all the quick wins that you can implement. And for me, the in like the first line comms, the phone calls, how they get handled is really, really important. And letting one call go to voicemail well, for this company in particular would cost them fourteen hundred pound a week, which I think to any business is really, really a sizable sum on customers. So they did the smart thing and outsourced them. And I would just say to you today, what are you doing in your business? Are you doing everything? Are you doing the service? You're doing the calls? You're doing the admin? What little bits can you slowly but surely start to get off your plate so that your customers have a better experience and that you enjoy your business more? And so I hope this spooky episode of my TV has got your head out of the dirt and into the clouds. And I will see you next week in normal attire um, for episode 85 and I'll see you then. Bye bye.